Now live at the showroom of Kiev LaGrange, Tony Walls and head coach Pete Wiggins giving you the inside scoop on Callaway Cavalier football. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Saturday Morning Quarterback Show, Callaway Edition from the uh, showroom here at Kia Motors in LaGrange. Once again, my name is Tony Walls, and to my right is head coach Pete Wiggins, and uh, we're going to talk about last night's semifinal <clears throat> state, Georgia State football, 213, AAA, Something Any, like all, all kind of stuff, wasn't it, Pete? <laughs> uh, went to Buford last night. Pete, final score was Buford 24, Callaway 14, and uh, – what an experience to go to Buford, uh, our second trip up there. And, you know, I don't know, I don't know, Pete, uh, I don't know if, if words can describe uh, how proud the Callaway Nation is of our kids. And they went toe-to-toe with, you know, with a team that uh, that's not used to having anybody go toe-to-toe with them. And, you know, our kids stepped up and played, and uh, unfortunately it wasn't quite enough. But, you know, Pete, uh, when you talk about your kids, uh, and I know you, you love them and you want to give them all the respect, and, uh, all the props that they deserve because they competed, Pete, for four quarters last night like like I've never seen them before. So proud of them. I'm, uh, you know, uh, at halftime we had a 14-7 lead on a, uh, on a Buford team that's uh, one of the best teams I, I've seen. And, uh, again, I'm just so proud of, uh, you know, our, our effort from, from all of our kids uh, throughout the season, uh, the way they've – prepared for you know each opponent each week uh as did they Buford uh you know the effort and uh you know they they fought for four quarters and uh you and I said it last night uh I feel like we left everything we had there on the field and uh again just really really proud of our the young men uh uh for uh, the attitude the work ethic and and uh you know just uh effort they had last night on the football field you know Pete there's a lot of things that the uh, that the average fan doesn't see uh, the relationship between coaches and coaches and coaches and players and players and players and uh, you know at the, at the end of the game last night as you know I were talking I'm sure that was an emotional time for for everybody you know when you when you look look at those kids you had them as, as puppies as you <clears> call them when yep. they were some of them were ball boys Pete that's right and um you know, you're getting old, buddy. I mean, you've been here what? You've been here ten years now. You know, some of these kids are, uh, but but ball boys and the relationships that you develop over the year. It doesn't just last, you know, one year. It's it's uh, in, when the kids come back after they graduate and kids on the sideline. It's uh, I, I guess that's one of the most rewarding parts of being a coach, isn't it, Pete? It is, and uh, you know, to see the uh, see the crowd that went with us on a two and a half hour road tr- trip last night. Uh, uh, you know our community's just so strong uh, in uh, support, and you know yet yesterday as we we left the school, uh, the entire school was out lining um, Whitfield Whit- Road, Whitfield yeah. Road, and uh, uh, again I, I it was it was awesome, and you know, then we we turned right on Hammett Road and we went up, and uh, all the elementary school kids that were they were out there, and the teachers and they had all the signs up, and it just uh, it was real special, and. Uh, uh, again, uh, you know, you talk about uh, the time with the kids. I mean, it's it's pretty much uh, obviously a practice lasts three hours, but there's uh, there's a lot more time than just three hours of practice with them every day. And and it's the summer. It's uh, it's the weight room grind, and and so obviously it's a family, you know. And uh, uh, to see the kid work and grow and uh you know that's what it's all about and uh you know that that old game uh, of football it 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 teaches the kids uh a work ethic that uh will make them pretty special down the road no doubt pete no doubt we're gonna uh, take a break for a couple of messages here pete when we come back we'll talk a little bit about the game last night Uh, a few of the details we'll talk about uh uh people got a lot of people we want to thank for, for for the season and everything that's going on over at callaway so uh, you're listening to the Saturday Morning Quarterback Show, Callaway Edition, on the Eagle Sports Network. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Jesse Claus here from Key of LaGrange. Every week in the month of December, we'll be giving away an Xbox One. Stop by today to register. 
to haul all of your Christmas gifts. Check out the 2014 Kia Sorento. The Sorento has a spacious interior, is fuel efficient, and tech savvy. Join us as we celebrate our holiday sales event. Own a Sorento for only 24 one and own the road with a 10-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. Happy holidays from all of us at Kia of LaGrange. Online at kiaoflagrange.com and help support your local economy. Flu season is upon us. And we would like to invite you to get your flu shot from Holmes Pharmacy. If you have Medicare or insurance, it could be free. And if you have a big group of 10 or more that would like to get their flu shot, call Holmes Pharmacy and we can come to you. Hi, I'm Perry Prather, pharmacist at Holmes Pharmacy. So drop by Commerce Avenue in LaGrange, Georgia. We have your flu shot ready. So come see me or any of my fine staff at Holmes Pharmacy today. Right now, one in three drivers is cruising around in a state of skepticism about just how much value their car insurance company is delivering. If you're one of them, State Farm Agent Matt Orr on the square in downtown LaGrange can help you get to a better state because he'll talk with you, listen to you, and help put together a policy that has you written all over it. From cost to coverage, all backed by 24-7 customer support. Feeling less skeptical? Then call State Farm Agent Matt Orr on the square in downtown LaGrange and officially get to a better state with State Farm. Some. Sometimes, the path of life takes us to a place we never expected. A cancer journey can be unsettling, but our oncology team at West Georgia Health in LaGrange has the compassion, technology, and expertise you need to help lead the way. We have provided leading cancer care for this region for 75 years and meet the rigorous accreditation standards required by the Commission on Cancer. Offering the latest in infusion and radiation therapies, our multi-specialty team of physicians meets weekly to review individual cases and determine the most effective treatment options for those patients. At West Georgia Health, we've put all our services together for you so you can focus on one thing, fighting cancer. West Georgia Health, so healthy together. To learn more, visit wghealth.org. Marsh going to take the ball, drop back. Going to be a bad snap. Fumbled the ball, but got loose on the right side. Around right in, Greg. Down to the 10, to the 5. What's the What's the Cavalier? What a great play by Tess Parks. Individual effort. The ball comes out of his hands. Bounces right back up, Tony. Hits the Callaway sideline. Breaks three tackles and dives from the four-yard line. In for the first score of the game. Well, that's the way it went last night. Just excitement, excitement. And then uh, the third quarter hit. And... Trans- things transitioned a little bit, but what a great season for Callaway. A lot of fun, and uh, and I got to tell you, it's been a, a fun ride. And I know Key of Lagrange has had a good time uh, uh, following the Cavs this year, and uh, and it's uh, it's been a real magical football season all the way around. Well, I tell you what, Coleman. Again, it's just um, a great sense of pride for for Callaway and for coaching for the players. Uh, very excited about the year they had this year. Uh, came up a little bit short, but you know what? We we very close to having one of those rings. And, uh, you know, I, I want to thank the coach. I look over his coaching staff. You know, most of those guys, when he took over, are still there with him. It, it's a testament to the kind of program that they run there. And if we could ever get Tony Walls excited at some game, maybe we'll talk about that at the next break. But, you know, I want to thank Eagle and, and, uh, and the guys that call the games. You know what? They're out there 2 or 3 in the morning sometime. They're on the road. Your crew's setting up equipment, doing long after the game's over. But we really appreciate in the community being able to listen to those games. And so thanks a lot. Congratulations to the Cavaliers. There you go. Back to you, Tommy. Kurt, I'm trying to come out of my shell. I, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll continue to try to, to try to upgrade the, the, uh, the, uh, the announcing each week. But we appreciate uh, Kia and Kurt and uh, what all they do for us, Pete. They've been a, a big sponsor for us over the last several years, and uh, they really, uh, really are nice enough to let us use their great facility out here. Uh, Pete, as far as the game goes, you know, last night coming into the game, everybody knew, everybody knew about Buford. You know what you're going to get when you play them. Uh, coming into the game, you guys obviously felt like uh, there were some things you could do against them offensively and, and, and defensively. And, you know, the first half was, was a testament to that. We, uh, you know, we score the first – you know, we take our first drive 80 yards. I doubt if that's been done uh, too much on Buford. You know, they, they were giving up about 14 points a game. And, we, uh, and, and obviously there were some things that, that really worked well for you in the first half. Well, uh, you, you know, looking at it, coming into it, uh, uh, you talk about what we thought we could do. We thought we could run the football, and I know that doesn't sound 
Uh, against Buford, a lot of people, not very many people, ha had had any success on the year, or, or really no one had. And uh, you know, and we we were able to to move the ball um, early. And um, uh, I was just, uh, you know, when we, we, we didn't change anything, we right. just, uh, you know, made some adjust adjustments based on their defense, just like we always do as far as blocking schemes. But uh, uh, we just, uh, Coach Napier did a great job calling plays, and uh, as did Coach Hubbard on, on the defensive side. Um, you know, and, and our kids, but bottom line, our, our kids, uh, you know, they, they sold out. And uh, uh, they, they in a good way, in a good way, <laughs> right. in a great yeah. way. Yes, and, uh, yes. Um, they at practice this whole week on Sunday. Uh, you know, they were into film, and and uh, they, uh, uh, they, you know, they, it, it was just a great week of practice. It was a great attitude. It was, uh, uh, we we practiced very fast and uh, and we played like that Friday night there was never any doubt from our kids um, mm -hmm. you know obviously uh, I think I saw a stat uh, Buford I think they might have been ranked fifth in the nation or some something mm -hmm. like that it was mm -hmm. uh, but none of that stuff phased phased the kids and uh, uh, they they went into it uh, believing we would win and uh, you know and that's how we played last night and, and de defensively Pete you held them to, to seven points in the first half this yes. is a team that was 38 points away from setting a single season high, Georgia high school uh, scoring record. Right. So, you know, defensively, you know, Coach Hubbard and his staff, you know, you hold them to a touchdown, big offensive line. Uh, you know, and really, Pete, not only in the first half, it was the entire game yep. defense played well. It had, had a little spurt about six minutes when the, during the third quarter, but where, where Buford really took control of the game. But, uh, you know, kids still competed. You know, we talked about one particular time where the, it was 21-14 and uh, Buford was driving. You needed a stop, and you held them to a to a 44-yard field goal. And for most high school teams, that's not easy. That, you know what right. I'm saying? And, uh, and just a great effort. It, it was awesome. And, uh, you know, the, the defense uh, – uh, you know, I've talked a little bit about the offense, and I want to talk more about it. But uh, our defensive line, oh, oh, Justice Perkins played it so well last night, and uh, all the kids did. Uh, LeBron's and uh, Keyshawn uh, Nooney Anderson had a great game. Renzo Patterson, uh, Deion Smith, uh, our linebackers, uh, Dre Martin, uh, Aaron Clausell. Those those guys played so well, and uh, you know, it was a it was a physical ball mm -hmm. game. And I I know from the stands, I mean, people can see that, but. On the field, there was a lot of really big hits, and uh, uh, you know I was just so proud of our kids for. Uh, again, they 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 put it all out there, and that's all as a coach. That's all you can ask for. And and again, you know we've got a they got a great football team, but uh, I, I, again we do too. No and, doubt. Uh, and and I'm so proud of uh, all the young men for uh, you know for for. Uh, again, uh, the attitude that they brought, and it was a great attitude and a working attitude and a winning attitude, and, uh, and, and it showed last no night. No doubt, and not only last night, Pete, it's been all through the year, as evidenced right. by the by the fact that that sideline was a virtual who's who last night of college coaches. Tell us a little bit about who was there last night, Pete. Well, I mean, I, I didn't get to talk to, to all of them, but I, I did see uh, Georgia, I saw Auburn, I saw Alabama, I saw Clemson, I saw Georgia Tech. I mean, that's some pretty big names right there. That, you know? Yes, sir. I mean, it's, uh, so that's a pretty cool thing to, you know, for our kids to get that kind of exposure and and uh, and you know and just play Callaway football in front of all those guys and uh, you know there was there were several more there that uh, again I, I don't know who I was right. there. I tried to watch the game I, I did watch <laughs> yeah, the game you yeah. know, I did. tried to focus so, on what you were doing so, but I did uh, you know I did ha run into some of those guys uh, on the sideline before it got started so uh, anyway uh, uh, that's a cool thing but uh, um, uh, again the best part of last night was was again the the way the, our kids play no doubt. Galloway football and uh, and I, you know I told them on on the way I don't I don't think they realize how special how, how special it is. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, for uh, you know the, just the season number one uh, and, and and obviously you know there. At the end of the season, there's only one team that's going to come out. But uh, uh, you look back on special moments and special kids, and and and, and they, I don't I don't know that 
that they realize how big it is and, and uh, how long they're going to cherish it and, and that kind of stuff. They probably don't. And they'll, when they have a little time to reflect back on it, even this year, mm-hmm. you know, as they get uh, as they get older and get advanced in age like you, and, yeah. <laughs> you know, they'll they'll look back on it and and they'll they'll think, boy, that was a pretty special season, something pretty special. A lot of a lot of first at Callaway this this year in this season. And when we when we come back after these messages, Pete, we'll we'll talk a little bit about some of those first, and we'll talk about what's going on. Uh, give them a little uh, update on the uh, the all the all purpose multi purpose building over okay. there, and uh, you know you'll you'll tell them a little bit about what you're going to do in the off season, and and uh, we'll uh, got a lot of folks to thank, so we don't have don't have a lot of time, so we're going to pause for these messages. You're listening to the uh, Saturday morning quarterback show, Callaway edition on the Eagle Sports Network. Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas. Jesse Claus here from Key of LaGrange. Every week in the month of December, we'll be giving away an Xbox One. Stop by today to register. To haul all of your Christmas gifts, check out the 2014 Kia Sorento. The Sorento has a spacious interior, is fuel efficient, and tech savvy. Join us as we celebrate our holiday sales event. Own a Sorento for only 24 one and own the road with a 10-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. Happy holidays from all of us at Kia of LaGrange. Online at kiaoflagrange.com. Tom helps support your local economy. When you want to sell your real estate, who do you call? Robert Joel Upchurch, your REMAX result agents. They want to go to work for you. Call Joel Upchurch at 706-523-1702 or Rob Upchurch at 706-523-0014. Are you ready to buy a house or land? Then call REMAX result agents that will find you what you want and be with you from the first day to the day you sit down in your new home. Let them go to work for you. Call Joel Upchurch at 706-523-1702 or Rob Upchurch. Church at 706 523 You're busy with places to go and people to see. At cb and we understand. That's why we created the Synovus Connections prepaid card. Use it for purchases, ATM withdrawals, and even get cash back. It's an affordable alternative to checking, simple to load, and can be replaced if lost or stolen. Plus, there's no credit check required. Let cb and help you manage your busy lifestyle. Visit us for details or to open your Synovus Connections card today. cb and a division of Synovus Bank, member FDIC. Fees and restrictions apply, subject to approval. Mom, dad, kids, watch what happens when two separate things become one beautiful, glorious thing. No longer will there be any arguing, shouting, or tear-dropping, but instead only hugging, high-fiving, and loving. That's because Orange Julius has been added to Dairy Queen. Kids get their favorite Dairy Queen treats like blizzards, ice cream cones, sundaes, and shakes, while Mom and Dad gets a delicious Orange Julius fruit drink, premium, and light premium fruit smoothies. It's all there together at one store. No Dairy Queen or Orange Julius, but rather it's Dairy Queen and Orange Julius on New Franklin Road in LaGrange. You need to brush your teeth at least twice a day, and you need to have your teeth cleaned and examined at least twice a year by a dentist. We have heard this since we've been kids, but sometimes life can get busy and we forget to brush and skip an appointment, and we turn around and it's been a while since we've been to the dentist, so let's get back on track. Call Dr. Childress for an appointment today at 706-882-1888 or on the web at drchildress.com because your smile is very important and we want you to have the best one possible. Dr. Childress, next to the post office in Calumet Center in LaGrange. Quarterback parks under center. He's going to take it. There's the snap. Going to turn, hand the ball to Culpepper. Touchdown, Cavalier! No doubt about that one. They went off the right side there behind big Brandon Sutton and number number 19, Nooney Anderson, number 55, as we mentioned, Brandon Sutton with a big with a big block that time. So with 4.02 to go here wow. in the second quarter, your Cavaliers go by go up by a score of 13 to 7 with the extra point to follow. There hadn't been many visitors say that against Buford. Visitors or or in the home team been able to say the Cavaliers go up uh, go up go up on Buford by a score of 14 to 7. And, that was the halftime score, Pete. Unfortunately, it didn't hold up as the Cavaliers lost 24 to 14. But uh, you know, they knew, Buford knew they were in a they were in a battle last night. They really did. And um, you know, Pete, we we got uh, we talked a little bit about the offense and the defense. And uh, you know, what a great season it was. We mentioned some of the firsts this year. Uh, you know, we first 12 win season, um, a third round playoff game at home, a win. You know, and uh, we talk about program changes, Pete. You know, you and I used to talk about beating Macon County, and we talked about – you remember that? We talked about finishing 5-5. Five and five. We talked about finishing fourth and getting in the playoffs, and then we then we got a home game, and we won a home game. And, you know, now look where we are now, Pete, really doing it. You know, not going to get complacent. 
Uh, but, you know, you take that next step. You know, you get to those semifinals and you get a little taste of it, and it makes you want to go back, doesn't it, buddy? It, it does. And, uh, you know, you talk about those those years. That was a long time ago. <laughs> and, uh, uh, but I, I remember uh, a Washington-Wilts game a long time ago, and they were ranked pretty high in the state. Uh, I think they were maybe two or three, and uh, uh, they, they beat us, but they beat us in the last two minutes of the game. And uh, um, I, I feel like from that point on, uh, our kids uh, – you know, I've really uh, sold out on on, mm-hmm. on what we do, and uh, uh, anyway, uh, you know, and to grow each season from uh, uh, obviously from eight and three to ten and two to ten and three, and uh, you know, this year uh, to finish up twelve and two uh, uh, to to play like we have all year, uh, obviously. Uh, uh, you never want to lose, but uh, uh, to play like we did in this last game uh, to and uh, to a great opponent, uh, it's just uh, very special for our program, uh, our coaches, our, you know, our, our community, and um, uh, I, I know that uh, uh, you know I'm just real proud of it, real proud of uh, uh, all the work that's went into it, and um, uh, you know you you just see the. And, you know, you see the benefits of, of it course. when you when you and and the kids that they see it. You know, when they they work hard and and um, you know we talk about it all the time. That old work that uh, that uh, they give in January uh, in the weight room. Uh, a lot of kids we call it double dipping. They'll lift during school and then they'll show up after school and uh, and, and lift again and. Uh, uh, it's just something we've evolved to, and uh, those, there's a lot of guys that, that do that. And uh, 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 anyway, this old group of seniors, uh, they've been probably as committed as any group I've ever been a part of. And uh, you mentioned earlier about them being ball boys, and uh, it just seems like yesterday that uh, and, and I know if I start naming names, I, I'll miss somebody, but uh, Galilee Tez Parks and Brandon Sutton and Devon Rosser and Keyshawn Freeman and uh, you know Deion Smith, Jalen Allen. Uh, uh, it seemed like yesterday those kids were in middle school. Mm-hmm. Kerry Woodard was calling me and, and saying, "Man, this is going to be a great group." And uh, uh, anyway, I can remember they are. I can remember when they were over in uh, in elementary school in yep. Cannon Street. Yep. They've been together a long time. They they have those been. kids grew up together. They, they sure they did. did. And uh, again, I know I'm going to miss them. I'm not going to try to name them all. Sure. But, uh, uh, you know, we had 14 seniors this year, and just a special group of kids. You're and, right, uh, Pete. Great leaders for certainly, our football team. Certainly a great year. And we're going to take another break here, Pete. And we come back, we'll uh, we'll wrap it up, and we'll thank some people that I know you want to thank for everything they've done for yep. us this year. You're listening to the Saturday Morning Quarterback Show, Callaway Edition, on the Eagle Sports Network. Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas. Jesse Claus here from Key of LaGrange. Every week in the month of December, we'll be giving away an Xbox One. Stop by today to register. To haul all of your Christmas gifts, check out the 2014 Kia Sorento. The Sorento is a spacious interior, is fuel efficient, and tech savvy. Join us as we celebrate our holiday sales event. Own a Sorento for only 24 one and own the road with a 10-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. Happy holidays from all of us at Kia of LaGrange. Online at kiaoflagrange.com to help support your local economy. It's tough out there, trying to stretch every paycheck a little further than the last one. It means cutting cost, and one of the best places to start is at the office of State Farm Agent Matt Orr on the square in downtown LaGrange, because he'll do a free discount double check to make sure you're getting the car insurance discounts you deserve, up to 40%. So give State Farm Agent Matt Orr a call today because being there to help keep more of your money in your pocket is why he's there. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Discounts may vary state to state. Vince Lombardi once said, if winning isn't everything, why do they keep score? At LaGrange Banking Company, we agree with Coach Lombardi. Winning is important. And that's why we keep score each and every day. We want our customers to win. And we're here to help them. Stop by either our Calumet or downtown LaGrange office to find out how we can help you win, too. LaGrange Banking Company. Local. Just like you. LaGrange Banking Company. Member FDIC. Flu season is upon us, and we would like to invite you to get your flu shot from Holmes Pharmacy. If you have Medicare or insurance, it could be free. And if you have a big group of 10 or more that would like to get their flu shot, call Holmes Pharmacy, and we can come to you. Hi, I'm Perry Prather, pharmacist at Holmes Pharmacy. So drop by Commerce Avenue in LaGrange, Georgia. We have your flu shot ready. 
So come see me or any of my fine staff at Holmes Pharmacy today. Looks like lunch just got a little de-crazy. You're telling me for just $5, you get a quarter-pound grill burger topped with melted cheese, delicious DQ fries like golden rays of sunshine, a tall, cool drink bubbling with bubbles, and the one-of-a-kind mini blizzard to top it off? Maybe somebody should pinch me. Not too hard, though. I bruise easily. Five bucks for all that? That's crazy. Easy. Dairy Queen, New Franklin Road on the Grange. Wow. Welcome back, everyone, to the Saturday Morning Quarterback Show, Callaway Edition, live from the showroom here at uh, Kia. And, Pete, as we get ready to uh, to wrap up the show and go into this last segment, I know there's a lot of people you want to thank, and uh, we may not have enough time to thank everybody, but I know there's a few people you want to you want to thank for everything that they've done this uh, this season. Well, before I start with uh, uh, mentioning a few people's names, uh, I, I want to update everybody on the multipurpose facility. Uh, okay. Uh, it's looking good. Uh, uh, waiting on, I think, the metal package right now. and uh, uh, But uh, folks need to come out and check that out. So proud of it and, uh, uh, you know, all the progress at, at Callaway High School. I want to thank our administration, Miss um, Wilson, uh, Mr. Mills, Miss Tremelone, uh, Dr. Landry, uh, Coach Woods, uh, Coach Bradshaw, uh, for everything they do behind the scenes to help us out. And that uh, means so much to us. And uh, uh, a lot of people don't know all the, you know, the little things that sure. those guys do behind the scenes. But uh, uh, really, a big thank you to them. Uh, um, always thank you, Tony. I, I, you know, me and you, we've been doing it a long time. And, uh, <laughs> we have, haven't uh, we, buddy? You always make everything a lot easier on me. I appreciate it. I appreciate our coaches. Uh, you know, uh, and, again, I'm not going to go through names, but uh, those guys, uh, uh, they, they mean, obviously, they mean so much to me. But uh, what I appreciate is, is what they – what they they mean to the kids and 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 I they they love those boys and uh, you know and it, and it that the kids play for them and uh, uh, those guys come to work every day they're there they're, they're right there at the school now working so uh, uh, I just appreciate all those guys and uh, uh, the work that that you know they put forth and they put a lot of time away from their families you know and uh, because they love what they do and 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 they love the kids and I, I appreciate those guys and I want to thank the Callaway community I you know we talk about it all the time is how how we've grown so much and we'll keep growing every year and it just gets stronger and stronger and uh, um, you know this it's a it's a process and um, uh, just uh, really uh, and it's awesome to see the school grow and uh, uh, to see kids grow up and uh, and you mentioned earlier come back you see and, and uh, you know the older I get uh, to see guys that you coach seven eight nine years ago to come back and uh, see them at the ball games cheering us on it just makes my day and uh, you know Jamal Bruce texted me on the way to the game last night and I wish him luck today as and just like I wish any you know all the uh, former Cavalier success, but uh, got a big game today and uh, against Florida State. Against Florida State, Jamal plays but, for Duke. Uh, um, Quan Bray in the SEC championship that, game today. That, that, that's right. Isn't that wish, something? Wish him yeah. luck. Yeah. And, uh, in, anyway, uh, I want to say uh, it's be the last time I I, I get to say uh, hello to to Daddy. I know he's up at the barn. Him and Rick. Uh, uh, he probably uh, sitting around, but uh, well, maybe one of these Saturdays we can get over there and we can get them to fix us breakfast, and we can just talk about <laughs> anything we want to talk about. Pete, what do you think? Uh, that, that'd be awesome. But uh, <laughs> um, again, uh, um, just a special time uh, at Callaway High School, and uh, just want to say thank you to everybody that's involved uh, uh, with, with helping us uh, be better. Uh, uh, Coach Parks. Uh, I know I mentioned the coaches, but uh, he and I, he and I, Mr. Freeman, uh, I appreciate all the the cookouts and uh, you know getting up early on Sunday morning and getting that started, and uh, you know all the all the mothers and, and that, that have been there uh, with pregame meals that that have been there with. Uh, you know, just to put their arms around the kids in hard times, and uh, uh, there's a lot of special people that, that's involved with it. And uh, I, again, I, I just can't say thank you enough to all those individuals that have helped us along the way. Well, you know, one person that doesn't get enough thanks sometimes is is uh, is you, Pete. You, uh, if you listen, if you listen to Coach Wiggins in his comments here, you can 
Uh, you can hear the emotion in his voice and the, the way he feels about these kids and his coaching staff. And, and uh, you know, watching it on the, on the web here, uh, just, just listening to you, Pete, we, we know that you're, uh, you're dedicated to Callaway High School and those kids. And uh, it shows. It shows on the sidelines, and it shows in the community. And, um, you know, it's exciting. I mean, it's, uh, it's big, Pete. You know, you and I talked about it. It seems like a long time ago we were glad we could beat Macon County. Yep. And, uh, but, uh, Bobby you know, Hughes, he sent me a uh, – he actually left me a message this week. You know, Bob, uh, Coach Hughes. Yeah. Actually, he was he was the coach at Macon County right. back in those, those years right. and won a whole bunch of ball games. And uh, you know, it always means I got so many calls this week and text messages from from people like that. Mm -hmm. that uh, uh, it just means a lot. You Another know? part of the coaching fraternity, that's, that's you, right. you know, you, that's, it, right. that's just part of that, and it comes with it. And it's, uh, a lot of uh, they, they talk about all your joy and frustration wrapped <laughs> up in a little ball with your kids, and yep. the same way with, with coaching, Pete. You, right. you experience the highs and the lows, but that's what makes it a great, a great profession. And and people like you who really, uh, uh, you know, put their heart and soul into it and uh, developing a program and, and and those kind of things. And you know, Callaway family just couldn't be happier. Twelve and two this year, Pete. Uh, great season, obviously didn't end the way you wanted, but uh, you know a lot of positives to take away. And uh, you know, as you think, you think people. We want to thank our listeners who've who've listened to us every Saturday morning here, who put up with us on the radio, and uh, when the announcers sometimes uh, have those out of body experiences and and uh, get a little excited and. Uh, the words start slurring, and uh, sometimes they, they get, get a little confused. But it's been a great ride this year, this year Pete. And, hey, I'm looking forward to doing it again next year. What do you think? Um, I, I'm looking very forward to it, and I want to say thank you to Coleman. I uh, appreciate everything he does for us and uh, uh, everyone here at Kia. It's, uh, you know, to come in here on Saturday morning, uh, it's always a heck of an atmosphere. And, of course, our buddies always, at Chick-fil-A. My always goodness. have plenty of chicken biscuits. No I, doubt. And uh, it's just a great atmosphere. And, uh, again, appreciate everybody uh, for making Callaway football a little, a little bit more special. Well, Pete, as we get ready to wrap it up, we want to thank you again for, for uh, the season. We've enjoyed it. Uh, you know, you and I, again, we, we come out on Saturdays. We have a good time. We go do our – we're going to go do our ride through again. And uh, you got to go you got to go wash some jerseys and help Trey clean up some uniforms and, and do those types of things. But, uh, you know, Pete, again, congratulations, my friend. Appreciate Mine, your relationship goes a lot farther than the old football field, and uh, we're, we're proud of you and uh, the Callaway family and the Callaway staff. So uh, we won't be here next week. We're going to take about a three-month hiatus, and I guess, uh, of course, you're going to take about a week off and get going again. But we'll be back uh, hopefully next year in August, September, and uh, get this thing started again. So for uh, – Head Coach Pete Wiggins, my name's Tony Walls. For Greg Higgs, for Coleman Vice, everybody back at the station, Britt, everybody that makes this broadcast possible, thank you for spending your time with us this year. You've been listening to the Saturday Morning Quarterback Show, Callaway Edition on the Eagle Sports Network. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Jesse Claus here from Key of LaGrange. Every week in the month of December, we'll be giving away an Xbox One. Stop by today to register. To haul all of your Christmas gifts, check out the 2014 Kia Sorento. The Sorento has a spacious interior, is fuel efficient, and tech savvy. Join us as we celebrate our holiday sales event. Own a Sorento for only 24 one and own the road with a 10-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. Happy holidays from all of us at Kia LaGrange. Online at KiaLaGrange.com helps support your local economy. Flu season is upon us, and we would like to invite you to get your flu shot from Holmes Pharmacy. If you have Medicare or insurance, it could be free. And if you have a big group of 10 or more that would like to get their flu shot, call Holmes Pharmacy and we can come to you. Hi, I'm Perry Prather, pharmacist at Holmes Pharmacy. So drop by Commerce Avenue in LaGrange, Georgia. We have your flu shot ready. So come see me or any of my fine staff at Holmes Pharmacy today. When you want to sell your real estate, who do you call? Robert Joel Upchurch, your REMAX result agent. They want to go to work for you. Call Joel Upchurch at 706-523-1702 or Rob Upchurch at 706-523-0014. Are you ready to buy a house or land? Then call REMAX result agents that will find you what you want and be with you from the first day to the day you sit down in your new home. Let them go to work for you. Call Joel Upchurch at 706-523-1702 or Rob Upchurch at 706-523-1702. Life insurance is one of those subjects that make people want to change the subject rather than admit they probably don't have enough. And that's why State Farm agent Mabel Smith Sharp in LaGrange focuses on how the benefits of life insurance actually lives on by asking people to think in terms of life without having to sell the house insurance or life without having to give up college insurance. Find out how the benefits of life insurance can live on for your family. 
Call State Farm Agent Mabel Smith-Sharp in LaGrange at 706-882-9324 and put the life back in life insurance. You're busy with places to go and people to see. At CB&T, we understand. That's why we created the Synovus Connections prepaid card. Use it for purchases, ATM withdrawals, and even get cash back. It's an affordable alternative to checking, simple to load, and can be replaced if lost or stolen. Plus, there's no credit check required. Let CB&T help you manage your busy lifestyle. Visit us for details or to open your Synovus Connections card today. CB&T, a division of Synovus Bank, member FDIC. Fees and restrictions apply, subject to approval. Thanks for listening to the Callaway Cavaliers Kia of LaGrange Saturday Morning Quarterback Show on Eagle 1023, WLAG 1240 AM, 96.9 FM, and online at Eagle1023.com with Tony Walls and Cavaliers coach Pete Wiggins. To knock off Auburn as we disagree. Pick number one. All right, pick number two. Let's head uh, to.